on demand is in demand. Just like Vicious Hopper, the belt on this hopper coach connects to the internet in two ways, wirelessly or with an ethernet cable. This event showcases the thousands of on-demand movies and shows each customer get when connected. I love it. Stay fashionably connected with Dish and watch Project Runway on Lifetime. Catch up now with Dish On Demand. It was my first priority. Hello. Hey, girl. And I need to make sure that these kids are not locking themselves away from their parents. The first thing I do want to do is to change these locks on the kids' doors, OK? As you can see, no locks on these. OK. Those kids do use the locks, whether it's in the bathroom or it's in their bedrooms, to keep us out. So it's definitely a good thing to get rid of those locks. I expect these parents, as they become older, to have some etiquette and to knock on the door and, you know, to ask before they can come in, and that's something that they'll grow into as a family. But at the moment, they're, they're all young children, and I believe that parents exercise the right to be able to go into their children's room and to make sure that they're okay. Yeah. Now that these kids can't lock themselves away, it's time for me to put a discipline technique in place. I'm going to use a reflection room for all four kids and leave the door open whilst they're thinking in there. Whilst Dad was out playing with the children, there you go, look. Mum helped me set up the reflection room. This is going to be the reflection room, which is going to be your time out, OK? I call it the reflection room because, you know, it is about the kids reflecting on what they've done. So they start to recognise that you're going to put some very firm boundaries in place. I'm going to ask you to clear the crayon area in a moment. Okay. The reflection room is it's a boring room. It means we're here alone, just not doing anything while the rest of the kids are out having fun and playing. OK, I'll okay. finish. But before we'd even finished, Parker gave her a good reason to use it. Parker, that is Sophia's toy. You're going downstairs to sit in the fucking room. you hear me? Don't, 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 you have to stay in here for five minutes, because you did not ask Sophia if you could take her toy, and then once she wanted it back, you threw it, Parker, stop, come out. Parker into the room took a lot out of mum and I didn't really know whether she would follow through with discipline so I took her aside to talk to her and that's when she broke down. Inside I can see, I can see how emotional you are inside. Right? I can see that inside you. You can get tough and you can deal with these kids. You know why? Because these kids are going to carry on like that and walk over you. And I know that you've got that mental strength to deal with that. They're going to find respect for you. Do you know why? Because you are a loving mother. You are a mother who wants to do best by your kids. I can. After the talk, she got an apology from Parker. She'd done it. Parker, I need an apology. Mm. But it wasn't long before Parker would start all over again. And again, you're warning. And you're continuing to distract again. This time I suggested that Parker do his time out in the kitchen so that mum could keep an eye on the kids in the backyard. That boy pulled every trick out of his hat to push mum's buttons. Um, just take it back to the door and in five minutes have to start all over again. Go back. He definitely wanted to get my attention. You definitely wanted me to respond to him. Ignoring Parker when he is in that zone and in the time out it, that's very hard. It's very frustrating. The other kids came inside, and that's when Mum decided to put Parker back into the reflection room, and he went absolutely mad. Parker was so mad that he became very destructive and started to tear up everything in that room. It seemed like 
like it took forever. It was exhausting. But I knew I had to stick with it because I can outdo them. They're not going to get the better of me. Parker, can you apologize to Mommy? Sorry. Mom's going to have more challenges like this, but if she remains consistent, then the kids are going to realize pretty quickly she means business. Next on the discipline agenda was mending dad's broken record. This is what I hear. Peyton, don't do that. Get, get down off of that guy. Sydney. Oh, Parker. Peyton, please. Voices project well in the shower. And so I decided to give dad a fun vocal coaching session there. What you want to be able to do is to slow your speech pattern down, okay? You need to behave yourself. You need to behave yourself. Here, look, come down. Come down to you giving me eye contact. And even if your head is slightly thin, you're looking at them like this. Behave yourself right now, otherwise you're going into time out. Try that. Behave yourself right now, otherwise you're going into time out. That's made some progress, but the real test is going to be in a real life situation. Sydney, if you're going to be outside, you got to have some shoes on, okay? Later on in the afternoon, I saw Sydney starting to play out. And that would be when Dad would use the reflection room and hopefully a firm voice too. I went over again with Dad how to use discipline properly and his firm voice. I then want you to go over to her, give her eye contact, come down to her level and really lower your tone and set him back to deal with Sydney. Okay, so here we go. I knew it was going to be a battle because it's Sydney. I mean, she's so strong-willed. You want to be outside, you need to have shoes on, or you're going to go sit in time out. Sydney? <laughs> I just thought, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> she was fighting and clawing every step of the way. Got her into the room and pretty much knew it was a long battle. Come down and say to her, you did not listen to Dad, and so you're staying in here. Sydney? You, Sydney, you did not listen to Daddy, so you're going to stay in here. This time, Dad was going to draw the line and stay put. You move her back in. Don't worry about that. Dad started to panic. I mean, this man really does sweat when he gets nervous. It was far from over. Coming up on Super Nanny. Will Dad finally show Sydney who's in charge? Or will she show him the door? When Super Nanny returns. Thursday is the biggest family night on television with an all-new